What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to put the old version of CapCut onto your computer, the all free version. What I'm going to show you real quick is how to find that. Now I got a little deep into the forums. Some people like the 1.3.2 versions. Some people like the 1.5, which is what I downloaded. And different people on the forums were using different versions. I did find a video that said not to do this because these websites are sketchy. So definitely proceed at your own risk. I think I said that right. There's no customer service with these older versions. And also it's kind of a sketchy website, but CapCut's already a sketchy editor. So not that big of a deal. But the site that I found all of the old versions on is called Up to Down. And you're seeing that right now. This download now right here up at, up at the top, that's not what um, you need to download. That's a that's kind of a spam web browser, but down under that, you'll see all the versions of CapCut up to now. This 1.3.2 was their first version. It was really good, I thought. Um, 1.5, I think I read somewhere that that was the last one where everything inside of the editor was free. So that's the one that I downloaded. I just wanted to show you guys how to get to that. Let me show you guys what that 1.5 looks like. I've been messing with it today quite a bit. I'm actually going to edit this video in 1.5, but what I'm doing now is just throwing in some footage. It's from earlier today when I was messing around with another camera, but you have all the footage, you have all of the features that you really need to edit a video. Up the top left, you have your media, then you have your audio. That's where you can get music. I wouldn't use any of the music that CapCut provides. It's pretty much all copyrighted. You still have the text. You can build your own titles, the stickers. You've got your effects, which you get quite a bit for free. I mean, you get a crazy amount of effects for free. You've got all kinds of transitions that are free. And then you've got your filters, which I like the Moody Fall one. That's the first one that comes up on trending. But I've been laying that Moody Fall on top of my footage and then backing it off to about 50%. And it looks pretty good. Then you have your adjustment layers. You can make presets for your footage if you want to do that. Then over here on the right, you have your video. You can rotate it. You can size it. You can stabilize it, which I think I played with that in the past. And it works pretty good. You can get some stable B-roll from that. Then you have your audio. Now you don't have a normalization feature, but you can bump your audio 20 decibels. So that's quite a bit. So you can get your audio sounding good. You can get it at the right volume. You've got fade in and out, noise reduction, and then you've got these voice effects right here, which are pretty cool. They're fun to play around with. You can mess with the speed of your clip there. You can add animation to your clip there. And then you have motion tracking built into this. It's free. Now with this one, you don't have the auto cutout like the newer versions of CapCut, but I didn't ever really use that. And then you have the adjustments. Now I can load LUTs into this just like the other editors. That's pretty cool. Then you have your adjustment. You can do your white balance, you can do the hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, everything basically that you need. And you also have the HSL. Now you don't have a, a curves panel in this older version, but I try to get most of my stuff the way it's supposed to look in camera. But down here on our timeline, you have your split feature, you have your delete, you have a freeze frame feature, that's pretty cool. Reverse, flip, rotate, and then crop. Then over here on the right, you have your mic. If you want to do voiceovers, track your main track magnet, which is very useful. And then auto snapping, which is another feature that's awesome. Again, all of this is free. You have timeline linkage, and then you also have a preview access there. And then you have your magnification for your timeline there. You can get some really precise cuts. And I think that you can stack, I think it's either five or seven high. It's plenty high to, to build a video inside of this free version. 
Now, one thing that I did run into is I had something on here that I edited a little bit in version four, and then I went back to the version 1.5 and it did not work. So once you start something in a particular version, you can't switch versions of CapCut and continue to edit. So just know that I, I honestly would not edit any big projects with this version anyway, but I do mostly YouTube and family videos. So videos of my kids basically so it's not a big deal if i have to re-edit stuff but i'm constantly on the prowl for free programs that work well let me know if you have any that you can suggest down in the comment section that i could load onto this old laptop hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think about the free version versus the paid version or the newer versions with the paywall let me know what you guys think down in the comment section that's it for me i'll see you guys later